valet event tonight with my siblings. We're all down there. Make some quick money. Should be fun. Caitlin, Lindsay, smile. These are my sisters. We're doing a valet event. Million dollar house by the lake. Got all our keys set up, our tickets. And here comes Jake Worthington. So, what's going on everybody? Hope y'all are doing well. I talk about side hustles a lot, so I wanted to come on here and show you what it looks like to do a, a side hustle, what it looks like in the day of the life of a valet, if you will, or the night uh, in the life of a valet. So I'm at Joe Lonsdale's house right now. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but I'm doing a little valet event for him with, matter of fact, my brother and sisters. And um, it's about a four hour event. So we're getting paid hourly by my boss. And then also uh, we'll get tips from the guests that show up. Um, but for any of you guys looking to make extra money, ballet is a great way to do it. Uh, I work today from you know seven in the morning till about four o'clock at my dental sales job. Um, and then came straight here afterwards to make a little extra money on the side. Uh, and I talk about this a lot, but you know, side hustles really help bridge the gap, um, between, you know, the average and, and those who get ahead and are financially free later in life. So I'm going to get some footage for you guys tonight, show you what a valet event looks like, what it kind of all entails, and hopefully encourage some of y'all to go out and get a side hustle or maybe even come valet, uh, for central Texas valet, the company that I've worked for all through college and here the past couple months again to save up to buy a house. So hopefully you guys get something good out of this or you uh, just simply can get some entertainment watching all of us run around and huff and puff uh, parking people's cars. Um, but we'll see you guys on the camera here in just a little bit and you'll get an idea of what it looks like to valet. Peace. Just parked a new Batmobile Tesla. These things are crazy. There is no toggle to do driver park, so all you do is swipe this up to drive, swipe down to reverse, and then press P to park. Pretty crazy how far this technology's gone, and here's my sister asking what I'm doing, giving me that big sister look. But uh, let's hop out of here and get on to the next one. Here we go, Jake's hard at work. About to back one car up. Lindsay's already running back to the top. Here we go. This is quite the hill that we have to run up to get to the top. But look at this house. <laughs> Isn't that something? It's massive. Got another one. Range Rover. Lots of high dollar personnel here tonight. All right, so quick update for you guys. We have about 15 to 20 cars, which is usually around 50 to 60 guests. And uh, we're about halfway through. So I'm gonna guess that we're gonna get about 30 or 40 cars, about a hundred guests. And if we get like a $5 uh, tip average per car uh, for 30, 40 cars, that's you know, 150, 200 bucks split between four people. That's like a 40, $50 night. So not too bad on top of hourly. Um, again, a little side money, a little uh, extra money that you can use to invest to, to help save and uh, do all that fun stuff. Here's Caitlin. <laughs> Are you vlogging again? Well, sibling duo. She's judging me for vlogging, <laughs> giving me a hard time, but giving y'all some content, showing you the ropes what valet looks like and uh, all that good stuff. So we'll catch y'all back on the camera here in a little bit. Nothing crazy, but it's something. We got 60, 69, <laughs> 70 bucks, just about. I took $1 less than my siblings, but hey, for just a couple hours of work, that's good tips on top of $15 an hour. 
Can't beat it. What's going on, y'all? Hopping back on here to give you a quick recap of how the valet event went. As you can see, I still got my stuff on, so I'm just now getting home. It's about 9.45. Um, the valet event went from 4.30 to 9 o'clock, and we got out of there at 9 o'clock sharp. Uh, but man, what a what a great event and what a great house to be at. It was over 15,000 square feet. It had 11 bathrooms and 11 bedrooms. It had a full-size basketball court with a resort-style pool in the backyard. And we went on to Zillow and saw what uh, the estimate was. And it was estimated to be $10 million. Uh, just crazy. Absolutely crazy. Um, there were bodyguards there a lot of high uh, high net worth personnel and uh, the bodyguards had to keep them safe and had to keep the, the homeowners safe. So it was cool kind of being around that environment, especially if it's not something you're, uh, you, you're used to. Um, so that was cool. But what was even cooler was I did this valet event with my three siblings. You know, we're all just trying to get ahead. We're trying to stack our paper, trying to stack our savings so that we can all um, you know, buy a house at some point here in the next couple of years, uh, pay for college, pay for a new car. I mean, whatever it may be, we're, we all have our full-time jobs and our full-time things, whether that's school or, or work. Um, but on the side, we still are getting out and making some extra money. And uh, it's really cool to see that my siblings are on board for that. And I was super happy that they were there with me. Um, but you know, tonight had its ups and downs. Uh, there was a lot of people that had a lot of money there, but the tips just didn't seem to reflect, um, you know, the, the, the amount that we figured we would get with the luxury cars that were there, the exotic cars that were there, the, you know, badass coats and dresses that the ladies were wearing. Um, and usually the tips are reflective of the crowd that's there, but also the service we provide. And I felt like we provided phenomenal service, but we just weren't getting tips. A lot of people were stiffing. Um, and it was kind of um, upsetting and discouraging, to be honest. One thing that made things better was we went and uh, we got to eat some free tacos at the um, little food trailer that they had catering the party um, and that made things better but you know despite getting bad tips um, we caught a break at the very end of the night we were talking to the bodyguard who was our um, our contact for the event and he said you know he would put a tip on the bill after uh, our valet boss billed him and then he goes, you know what, actually, I think it'll just be easier if we just pay you cash. So he ended up giving us um, 200 bucks cash and we split that four ways. So 50 bucks each. And then we uh, ended up getting, um, I think it was like $79 in tips from the guests. So we all ended up walking out of there with uh, close to 70 bucks. They all got $70. I got $69. Um, but on top of, you know, 15 bucks an hour, uh, that's... $30 an hour for the time that we were there and uh, a quick 120, 130 bucks um, on a casual Tuesday night. So, you know, I talk about side hustles. I talk about, um, you know, spending that extra time you have to work and make some money um, rather than, you know, going out to the bars and spending it that way or going home and watching a movie and just kicking your feet up and, you know, having a couple beers or, whatever it is that you guys do in the evenings, uh, the way I like to look at it is you can either go work and make a hundred bucks or you can go out and have some drinks and spend $50. Well, you might be saying, oh, you know, I only spent 50 bucks. It's no big deal. You know, we had some food and some drinks, you know, it is what it is. But what you don't realize is that that's actually a swing of $150 you know, from the person who went and worked a hundred bucks from the person that, you know, spent $50, it's actually a $150 difference in your net worth. So I think it's super important to kind of start looking at things that way. Um, and once you start doing that, you really realize not only are you going in the negative by going out, but you're going extra in the negative because you're not making any money, um, to make up for that amount whenever you're going out. 
So um, that's just a quick tidbit that I want to leave with you guys here. But uh, for the most part, I just wanted to show you all this video to show you what it looks like to valet, uh, some reasons why I valet, and uh, give you an idea of, of kind of what all it, it entails. And for any of you that might be interested in being a valet or making some side money, please let me know. Uh, my phone number is 512-584-7225. You guys can hit me up at any time. I'm happy to make the introduction with my boss and hopefully you can make some money on the side as well. Uh, so that's it guys. Uh, valet event at a $10 million house with my siblings and uh, made a quick 120, 130 bucks, whatever it was at the end of the day. Um, it's all positive stuff and just one step closer to a million dollars. So we'll see you on the next video. Y'all take care. Much love.